Yeah, you know, we're excited about this weekend having our opening tournament, and we've got Fairley Dickinson coming in, and we've got North Carolina A and T, who is across town rivals, and we're excited about both of them being here. Um, and again, like you said, we are excited about being home this weekend. It's been, you know, we've had two long road trips. And we've done quite well with them, and now we're ready to be in, our, in front of our home fans. It just feels really good um, just to be at home playing in the place that we're familiar with. Um, we have really, really great facilities here and great fans that come out to watch us play. So it's great to be in an environment where we're comfortable, that we're really accustomed to, and hopefully we can take some of the lessons that we've learned these last couple of weekends on the road and help them translate into wins at home. You know, we always try to schedule two tough tournaments at the very beginning and play some top-ranked teams because I think it helps our girls understand what, where they have to get to to go on to do well in our conference as well as in for the NCAAs. I think it was really helpful for us to, um, we got in some tough games. Um, we played, it was the first time we played seven inning games. Um, all of our games prior to that had been run ruled. And it was good for us to see um, what it means to fight. And even though we didn't necessarily come out on the winning side in some of the games, um, we saw that we could compete. We saw we could play with anybody. We played the number one team in the country to a three to one game. Um, so I think it was very productive for us all together and moving forward we're just going to work hard to make sure that we're winning those games that we feel like we should win. Our girls did a great job competing over the last two weekends. You know we go up against Florida and you know we put together and uh, granted we lost but we went three to one against them and you know I saw some really good things. I saw our young ladies competing. You know we had to pick up some position play and offensively we had to pick up some people you know, and it was good to see that people are ready to step into roles when they need to be filled. So I'm excited about that. We wanted to go into it with a we have nothing to lose kind of attitude. And um, we weren't expected to really do anything in that game. And so we talked about just playing loose and being ourselves. And um, no matter what the outcome was, that we were going to play as hard as we could. And that was really, really, I mean, effective for us to be able to play and just looking up and seeing every inning that, hey, we're still in this game, hey, we're still in this game, you know, we put some runs on the board. And um, just seeing that, that's a big confidence booster. And if we can bring that mentality to every game that we play, we're going to have a really successful season. Everybody likes playing at home, and we have such a beautiful facility. And we, br we bring a great group of fans that are great for us here at Elon Softball. So we look forward to having them. I can tell you right now, when you see them take the field, you're going to see them take it with lots of great spirit, lots of Elon Softball pride, and they're fun to watch, and they make me laugh daily. But they also do a job of playing the game of softball at the top level, and they're going to really enjoy watching that.